creator of this universe. What can you change? What can you change? You are able, you are able. Great Almighty God, you are able. situation around because no matter how difficult the situation is the holy spirit is able to step in and change things and turn things around in jesus name quickly i'm just is um faith clinic is the glory of the holy spirit but this morning we'll be talking on the power and promoter so i want us to quickly open to acts chapter 13 and we'll just read verse 1 to 3 acts 13 Acts 13, 1 to 3, I'll read. Among the prophets and teachers of the church of Antioch of Syria, where Barnabas, Simon, Lucius from Cyrene, Manim, and um, King Herod, and Saul. One day, as these men were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Appoint Barnabas and Saul. For the special work to which I have called them. So after more fasting and praying, the men laid their hands on them and sent them on their way. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit has the power to promote. Here we can see here Paul, I mean Barnabas um, Saul, I mean called Paul, we are promoted. That's promotion. Everybody see that's promotion. 
because it was the Holy Spirit that intervened and said, separate unto me Paul and Barnabas for the work that he has for them to do. And you can see after that, they became international preachers. They went everywhere preaching the gospel. And secondly, Paul wrote half of the books in the New Testament, that is about 14 books. And somebody said that's promotion. That's promotion. Because it was the work of the Holy Spirit. So Paul was able to write 14 books half of the New Testament. We can we see all these epistles. And that's promotion. And God will promote us in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the application is, are you in employment and you think you are stagnant? And you think, how am I going to get out of this situation? You need promotion. Who has the power to do it? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has the power to promote. Because that's what he did here, you know, in Antioch. You know, he took Paul, I mean Barnabas and Saul, and called them out to the work he has for them. So God has so much for us at, to do for him. And God is calling you and I to be an ambassador for him. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Are you in business? You know, you, know, you need a new level. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you, give you the wisdom. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18, it says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of, of the Spirit and the Father of glory, will give you the spirit of wisdom and understanding and knowledge so that your business will go to another new level in Jesus' name. And the Holy Spirit is the one that will empower you and help you and give you the insight, you know, and, give, and teach you the way to take your business to another level in Jesus' name. And that's promotion. And also, if you're a student here, you know, we can see uh, Rebecca testify of what God did for her. If you're a student here, the Lord can do the same. You know, it can promote you. The Bible says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And the Lord can turn it the way he wants. So that means that if you need a favor at work, you need promotion um, as a student, you know, you want to move from one level to the other, it is the work of the Holy Spirit. If you depend on the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will do it in Jesus' name. And as we've read, we, we read that they were worshiping, they were fasting, and they were praying. So we are going to pray right now. Remember, you can't do things by your own self. It is the Holy Spirit that will enable you to pray the will of the Father. And he himself will take it to the Father, and the Father will answer in Jesus' name. As they were praying, and as they were worshiping, as they were ministering to the Lord, the Holy Spirit set them apart. So right now we want to pray. First of all, you want to pray, you know, as an employee. You want to pray that God will set you apart at the place of work. Let's begin to pray. That God will set you apart. The promotion you need is in the hand of the Lord. Because you cannot do it yourself. There are people out there at, the, at, the, at your place of work that want to take what belongs to you. But at the, by the grace of God, as we are praying this morning, any stagnant promotion, the Lord will live to set you apart. And God will give you favor so that you can be promoted. Let's begin to pray. I'm talking about those in employment. If you are in employment this morning and you are seated here, you need to ask the power of the Holy Spirit to help you. To touch the heart of those of your... To touch the heart of those, you know, that are over you at the place of work. That is, you need favor. You need the favor of God. And the Holy Spirit can do it. Let's pray. Let's pray with all our heart. The Holy Spirit can do it for us. There are things you cannot do yourself. You know, when, you, when we say prayer, that means we are praying to the person that has the power and the authority to change the hearts of men 
here on earth. And God can do it for you. God has the power to transform the life of those over you. You know, that are making life difficult for you at the place of work. The Holy Spirit has the power to do it for you. So commit yourself into his hand this morning. And if you believe that God can do it, God will do it. Because God is a faithful God. You know, he's the creator of this earth, the heaven and earth. The, of this universe that we're in. And that means there's nothing God cannot change. There's no situation that he cannot turn around. God can do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe God that the promotion you are waiting for, God can do it because God has the power to turn the heart of men. There's nothing God cannot do. You know, cry unto him this morning and say, Father God, my heart, I'm depending on you. I want things to change. I want things to be transformed. I want my life to change and there's nothing God cannot do. God will do it much more than you think in Jesus' name when you depend on him. Now, are you in business and you want to take your business to another level, a new level? Why don't you ask the power of the Holy Spirit? You know, to give you the wisdom and the understanding because God can do it. You know, your business can turn around. Your business can turn around. You know, people will start flooding in. People will start buying if you're selling. You know, people will start coming. If you need, oh God, the help of the Holy Spirit, talk to him this morning. There's nothing he cannot change. There's nothing he cannot turn around. My God is a faithful God. My God is a good God. Just call upon him this morning and say, Father Lord, I bring my business before you. You know, many want to be, a, many are entrepreneurs in our midst this morning. And God wants to make you, you know, to prosper and to progress. There's nothing God cannot do. My God is a faithful God. The God that I serve is faithful. So call out to him this morning and say, Father God, change things around for me. And the Lord will do it in Jesus' name. Are you a student here? And you need oh God, intervention of the Holy Spirit. You are a student here. You need intervention of the Holy Spirit. Why don't you call upon God? You know, to open your understanding. To give you wisdom and excellent spirit. And the Lord will do it for you. So that that, so that, that will bring about promotion. That you move from one grade to the other. Another grade. Now you become so successful. Now you become, you know, you got the A star that you want. You know, you get, you get the things that you need. Did you want first class? God can do it. Because the Holy Spirit can give you the wisdom to write, the wisdom to answer. That's what it does. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Why don't you call upon him this morning? You want, to, you want promotion as a student? You want to excel as a student? You don't want to move to another level as a student? The Lord can do it. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. He will intervene. He will intervene. He will give, he will give you an excellent spirit. You'll be able to turn things around. At least at, the, at your college, wherever you are in union, they will see you as an exceptional student and they will reward you. will be rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. Depend on the Holy Spirit. There's not the Holy Spirit cannot do. He has the power. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of God's power. God's goodness you know, and wish you the goodness of God. The goodness of God will come your way and God will do wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally you know, the, the Holy Spirit you know, has the power in, in enable you to heal in every area of your life. Do you need total healing, total freedom? The Holy Spirit is there to do it for us. We prayed on Friday. Now the same Spirit that rose Christ from the grave dwells inside of you. It can quicken your mortal body. Your mortal, your, um, your mortal body, it can change this around. Why don't you call upon the Holy Spirit this morning? To heal every area of your life. To give you total victory. Because that's the goodness of the almighty God. And the goodness of God also will provide for everything that you need. For everything that you need here on earth. Whatever you desire from the almighty God. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. He can do it for you. And he will do it for me as well. Why did you begin to ask the Lord to do it this morning? The Lord is faithful. He can do it. You know, he's the creator of the universe. There's nothing can no, he cannot do. And there's nothing he cannot change. Every ugly situation will change. Every ugly situation will change. You have the victory. You have the final state. Because you have your helper, which is the Holy Spirit. It is your helper. This is your helper. When you come before him, the throne of mercy, and ask for mercy, and ask for grace in the time of need, the Holy Spirit will do it. Let's begin to come pray and bring our prayer to a close. Let's begin to worship him this morning. 
Let's give him praise. It's time of worship. It is a time of praise. Give him praise for he is a faithful God. In Jesus' name, we worship. <laughs> 